Hey guys, it's Paul, and I am outside of my friendly neighborhood Walmart store. Um, we have gotten so many comments requesting shop with me's and uh, grocery hauls and things like that, that um, I had to go grocery shopping this morning, so decided to bring you along with me. Today we're going to go to three stores, uh, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Target. Luckily, I live in an area where all three of those stores are like within a few blocks of each other. Um, Walmart and Sam's Club are actually in the same connected shopping center. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, it's early in the morning, so neither, uh, none of those three stores should be crowded. Um, Walmart and Sam's Club are the two that I really worry about being crowded. But early in the morning, we should be fine. Uh, Target, our Target never seems to be really crowded except for Sunday afternoons. So... Anyway, uh, let's run in there and let's see what we're going to pick up. Uh, quick note, I do not have a list, do not know what's going to happen here, so let's go check it out. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started in the produce department. Walmart has like the biggest produce department around. Um, I don't know if they have like the greatest selection, but com the greatest selection compared with the best prices, um, I actually do really like Walmart. It's one of my favorite produce departments to shop in. So let's see what we can find. So I don't cook with many of these things yet, but um, I'm kind of fascinated by them. So here's leeks. I have cooked with those before, but not often. Beets, I've never cooked with a beet. I've eaten a beet, but I've never cooked with one. We've got all kinds of greens, mustard greens, turnip greens. Let's see, collard. Collard greens are good if they're cooked right. Fresh broccoli. Look at that cilantro. All kinds of different cabbage. This Napa cabbage kind of fascinates me. There's Italian parsley. Look at how good, nice the radishes look. So something I'm not seeing here is like the really small broccolis. Uh, Target has those. Uh, hopefully they have them. I'm going to try and pick those up there. Ooh, asparagus. I think I'm going to get a bunch of asparagus. Uh, you know it's springtime when people have the strawberry display. Look at all those nice looking strawberries. Along with strawberry shortcake. This free kiosk here is driving me crazy. It keeps asking me if I want free dishwashing samples. No, I don't. So I've got a couple things in the cart so far. I've got strawberries. I've got carrots. So um, we use a lot of carrots, so I don't mind buying that big bag. I have celery. I did get a thing of asparagus. And I got mushrooms. No, these are not more strawberries. These are tomatoes now. Um, so I'm gonna pick up some tomatoes for avocado toast. I really like these. They're small, so um, when I slice them, you know, they're kind of bite-sized little slices. So I'm gonna pick up a, a box of these. Now, speaking of avocados, they're right next door to the tomatoes here. Oh man, these things are hard as a rock. Those are gonna need a couple days to ripen up. Let's see, nope, still hard. hard. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few days on those. Okay, so I finally made it out of the produce section. Let me show you to my cart so far. Um, you saw the vegetables. I also picked up two honeydew melons. Uh, they smell really good, so hopefully they are. I got two different kinds of potatoes. I got red and golden potatoes. I'm gonna make a uh, like a vegetable stew later this week. I picked up four cans of San Marzano tomatoes uh, to make my spaghetti sauce for the kids and for Shannon and I tonight. Um, we're making two different sauces, so that's why we have meat. I've got some ground beef, and I also have mild and hot Italian sausages. I'm gonna make uh, like a meat sauce or gravy for the kids, and then Shannon and I are gonna have a vegetable sauce. Now, this is what I thought was really cool. Um, I came in the Supro. Um, I'm not quite sure why I came in here, but I saw something I wasn't expecting. Check this out. Almond milk soup base and coconut milk soup base. So you can definitely kind of tell that, uh, you know, plant-based or vegan or dairy-free cooking is getting more and more popular because right here with all like the broths and stuff, they have these, which I think are pretty cool because I was actually thinking of trying to do like a creamy kind of soup later this week. So I think I'm going to pick up one of each of these and just kind of play around with them and see what I can come up with. Next up, Sam's Club. So I'm in Sam's Club parking lot right now. Uh, we actually were in Walmart a little bit longer than I expected. That's okay. Found some things that um, I wasn't expecting to see there. I uh, got some ideas for some stuff. Um, so I need to get onions at Sam's Club. <laughs> Might seem stupid that I left Walmart to come here, but they're in the same parking lot. Onions are a lot cheaper at Sam's Club. Um, actually, a lot of things are. The problem is I found I've been buying too much quantity lately. Um, 
things are having a hard time getting used up, especially with Shannon and I eating different from Joe and Casey. Um, so like normally I would have bought those Italian sausages here at Sam's Club. I'll show you the package uh, inside. Um, Cause you get like four times as many sausages for like two and a half times the price of what I paid at Walmart. So excellent deal if you're gonna eat that many sausages, like if you're gonna have a party or if you have people that are gonna eat those regularly or a large family or large appetites or whatever. Um, unfortunately for us, what was going on was a lot of them were, uh, were, were kind of going to waste. Um, we'd put them in the freezer and try and freeze them. And then they just wouldn't end up getting used up, get freezer burned and, you know, eventually get tossed. And I hate doing that. So trying to be a little bit more responsible. So buying the smaller package, paying a little bit more money hurts me to do it, but, uh, that's just kind of what has to happen right now. So, um, let's see. Let's go on in and let's find out what we need to get here. Okay, I just walked into Sam's Club. These are not on my list. I'm not buying these, but I just had to show you these. Rice Krispie Treats birthday cake flavor. That, I know when Shannon's editing this, she's gonna see that and she go, oh my goodness, why didn't you buy those? So I'm in the bakery right now. I'm gonna pick this up, two baguettes uh, for dinner. Shannon will love those. I have Dave's Killer Bread, which is awesome. I like the good seed kind. Um, we use that for avocado toast, but <laughs> I need an important part of avocado toast. I've got the bread, I've got the tomatoes, but I need avocados. So hopefully they have squishy avocados. In the meantime, let's look at the cakes. So we went from avocado toast, which is reasonably healthy, over here to cakes, which are not healthy at all, but look delicious. I'm not buying any of these. I'm just torturing myself and you guys. So let's see, ooh, look how pretty that is. Can you see these? That Oreo one just keeps calling my name right there. I like that one, that one's colorful. Ooh, look at that. I'm so impressed with the people who can decorate these cakes. This chocolate dessert cake looks really good and this Italian cream cake, oh, uh, that's like really washed out. You can't really see that very well. That looks really good to me. Okay, here's the little prepared food case. So I used to love these, the Cobb salad with chicken. Actually, I probably still do love them, um, but it's got bacon and chicken and blue cheese and stuff in there. It's just too much of a pain to pick that stuff out. So not getting that anymore, but I did want to pick up a couple things for the kids. I want to show you. They have grilled barbecue riblet. I have no idea what a riblet is. Probably something that they put on a McRib, but I think Casey would really like that. And Drew loves Asian style food. So General Sal's chicken with rice. I'm gonna get that for him. That'll be a couple lunches for each of the kids and I think they'll enjoy those. So here's those big packs of Italian sausage. There's the mild, there's the hot Italian sausage. Um, <laughs> I love Sam's Club for this. So it, this is five pounds of sausage at a time. But if you buy six of these, so that's 30 pounds of sausage, you get $20 off, which is, is an even better bargain. But holy cow, 30 pounds of sausage at one time. That's pretty crazy. For a restaurant, that would work out really well. All right, Sam's Club avocados, help me here. My only hope, are you squishy? Ooh, they are, good. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that one was gonna be hard. Yeah, those are pretty good. Those could be eaten today. Tomorrow would be better on these. They maybe need a day. That, let's see, that one could definitely go today. Okay, I'm gonna get one bag of these. All right, here's my onions. I can buy 10 pounds of yellow onions at a time, or I can buy six pounds of sweet onions. Doing the sweet. And actually, we do use up this entire bag, so that's pretty cool. Something else I'm not buying today, at least. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something to do with these. But these are just adorable. The little potato company. There's all the little spuds in the bag. Just like little golden and red potatoes together. All right, Casey has been really enjoying my air fryer. So he's been making a lot of uh, chicken strips for lunch that he like tosses in a sauce, um, either buffalo or barbecue or something. So I'm gonna pick up a bag of these and come out of there. There we go. I'm like realizing I actually have a lot more in my cart than I came in here for. I came in here for bread, onions, avocados, but I remembered I want to get baguettes. I found the two pre-made, got some green beans, now I've got chicken and I feel like I'm not done yet. <laughs> so this is my weakness right here, watermelon. It's only mid-April, strawberries are in season, but watermelon is not. Uh, I know these aren't good, but still, I have to come over here, I have to thump them. I have to dream about them. Soon you shall be mine. Come June or July, I will have you watermelon. Not this particular one, because that'll be no good, but a watermelon, you know what I mean. 
Last stop of the morning is going to be Target. Uh, the next frame that you see is going to be inside of Target. So I think I've gotten most everything that I need, uh, at least for the next couple days, hopefully. Um, I do need almond milk and I do need cereal here. For whatever reason, Target, our local Target, has the best cereal selection of cereals that we eat. Um, Walmart's a great place to get cereal if you need like General Mills or Kellogg or something, but if you want Cascadia Farms or some of the healthier brands of cereal, our Target is the place to come. So uh, I wanna get that. Oh, and I need the, uh, the little broccolini or small broccolis, whatever they're called, smockolis. So here's what I mean about the healthy cereal. Like check out everything they've got. Like Walmart, which has a bigger cereal row, has like a fraction of this, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Some of these names are funny. Choco Chimps, Panda Puffs, Cheetah Chumps, <laughs> Leaping Lemurs. Oh, they don't have Mallow Oats. That's Shannon's favorite. Okay, so let's see. I want to get a Chia Coconut that's down here. And yeah, Chia Coconut and the oats and honey. I like those too. I also really like the pumpkin flax, but I can actually get a huge box of that at Costco. All right, I have everything I came in here for. I've got my almond milk, I've got my cereal, I've got a broom, which I didn't tell you about, but I, I needed. I forgot about it at Walmart. I would have bought it there probably. Uh, let's see, do they have the broccoli, the little broccolis? They are usually right over here. They have them, there they are. They call them sweet baby broccoli. And these are really good. So I'm gonna get a couple packages of these. Okay, so the Target was pretty quick, in and out, just had a couple things to get, and I got my broom, so that was good. Didn't even remember that till I got in there, so that's the way it goes when you don't take a list with you. Um, so I think that's going to wrap it up for uh, this shop with me. Um, I kind of showed you everything that I got along the way. I uh, did pretty good. I think I got everything I need for at least today, um, probably the next couple days. Um, and I didn't buy any junk food, so I'm happy with that. Probably made a purchase or two that I didn't need to, but that's okay. Uh, that just happens sometimes. So anyway, I need to get, get home, put this stuff away, and get to cooking. All right, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me, uh, tell me what you like the most or where you'd like to see me shop. All right, talk to you later.